Welcome to Surfing the Psychic Waves. I'm your host, Christy Walsh. I'm excited to say hello to the globe. In this show, we hope to bring you new ideas to your spiritual path by letting you hear how other folks have walked their path or how they awakened. The planet, the solar system, and every being in it is waking up in some way or ascending on their spiritual path, and things are changing from a third or fourth dimensional world to something different, and we're expanding from our world of duality and separation to a world where we are back to all one, and we're interested in new ways to create peace within ourselves and with others. We've noticed that we can connect with spirit faster and move energy around quicker, and time is speeding up, and the way we use words is changing, carrying new vibrations, and the way we interpret events is expanding, and we're letting go of old ways of thinking and beliefs that do not serve us anymore, and we're asking different questions of ourselves and our world. The way we define love is getting bigger, and we're going to hear more about that from our guest today, and there are always bigger, brighter ways to surf. So grab your boards. Let's ride the waves of our new ascension, psychic, or spiritual spaces together and share our stories. My guests are surfers today are Tom Lesher, Kai Pod- of newparadigmastrology.com and you've probably seen uh, many of the Paley reports on YouTube uh, and a new one just came out yesterday and Lindy Cowling who's a medium clairvoyant healer uh, and she's talked uh, many times about Twin Flames here on Surfing the Psychic Waves and she's surfed these waves with me before so you can find out more at lindycowling.co.uk so Kaipacha and Lindy Cowling I'm so excited that you guys are here with me surfing the waves oh wait I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you what, it's made it for me that that we just discovered about a minute, obviously, before you went on air, that both Kaipatra and, my, and myself have the same birthday, albeit a different year, but we have the exact same birthday. So this should be interesting. We got two Leos all fired up to go here with a Scorpio in the middle. So I can't wait. This is going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> so. Really, we're going to kick off today. I think, I mean, I'm going to let uh, Tom take the lead because I'm a huge advocate of um, your work anyway, Tom, like I said, off, yeah, Copacha. So um, really, you know, Christy and myself have talked at, at length about, you know, love and everything. And it'd be nice just to know, you know, what your take is on everything and all the big changes that happen now around relationships and love and stuff like that. Whew. I know. <laughs> and we've only... a big, that's a big topic. Yeah. I know it's a big ask, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I see that we are in a uh, it's a huge shifting point. It's the end of sixty five hundred years of patriarchy, uh, you know, which was you know preceded by sixty five hundred years of matriarchy, and we are rebalancing and reintegrating our understanding of the masculine and the feminine, which is not just men and women. We are, I, I see it as we are both men and women, you know, masculine and feminine. We have Venus and Mars in our charts. And so this is going on, you know, with women just as much as with men. And it's basically what I see as being the reemergence of the feminine. And when I look at that, that's just like the feminine is the inner, the chaotic, the feeling, the dark, the moist, the warm, uh, you know, the, the inclusive uh, earth and water in astrology. And, and this is growing stronger and more powerful mother nature i mean we look at the seasons we look at the weather we look at you know just what's going on with mother nature she is you know raising her you know energy power uh you know presence in our lives and is and this is also happening with all human beings on the planet at this time and and the animals in the rocks i mean it's 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 just this shift in consciousness that is coming around and so it's interesting because I will say I feel that you know women are more I don't want to I don't know if it's attuned but you know likened to the feminine uh, you know it's more conscious with them and and men it is more of the unconscious you know the animal animus uh, you know whole setup here that you know the, the men are less conscious of their feminine Uh, side or feminine nature so as this occurs you know this wave rises 
I think it's a little, you know, women are coming into their power. Women are going, oh, yeah, it's my time. Here's my wave. This is great. <laughs> it's about time. It's been a long time. <laughs> you know? and, the men, and the men are going, you know, oh, what's this new feeling? Uh, what's, what are these tears I'm, I'm uh, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed with, you know, uh, emotion and you know things and, and well let's look at the masculine a little bit the masculine is clear it's light it's intelligence it's structure it's clarity it's action you know in, you know doing and and just it's it's in a way very much more simple yeah, yeah. you know it's straightforward it's so it's much more third dimensional i'd look at it as being much more horizontal that the guys are doers you know, in this world, on this plane, you know, give me a plow, give me a hammer, give me a, you know, you know, uh, you know, something to, to do. And, um, and so for them to go into the, like this horizontal, uh, uh, spin, <laughs> I mean, this uh, vertical spin, you know, where the, where the, you know, the women can go down and up and out and whatever, you know, is, is, um, disconcerting, you yeah. know? Do you find that it's that it's the guys that are therefore finding it a lot harder to sort of um, almost like access their heart and go into the emotional side of it? Because that's certainly how I'm seeing it in the UK here. The guys are really the the, the men overall are really really struggling with this tapping into the emotional side of it. They seem to be very tangled up in their in their head, and a, a lot of them are coming to crisis point here. You know where they're trying to go into denial and they can't go into denial because the shadow doesn't seem to be in the background anymore the shadow seems to be up front now you know it's right in your face and if you don't you know if you don't face it woe betide you I mean you know it seems to be like that here and the we women are feeling it as well and that rebalancing uh but we seem to be like you say really really like you summarized there you know we seem to be coping it with it more and going really going into the emotion of it and almost being I would like maybe it's the way we're wired, but almost being like um, prepared to if it takes us down, you know, right down into it, um, into some places where you would almost say the dark night of the soul, really, where we seem to be willing to go there and, and be coming out the other side where the guys seem to be, I would almost say a lot of them generalizing the men, the men here seem to be more or less stuck. A lot of them, you know, they're just stuck in this point in their their mind and it's building up this pressure. It's building up and it's up and and they just don't know what to do with it. Do you find that? Are you finding that there, or are you finding that you know, same kind of thing? Yeah, well, I I am I am finding that to a you know to a large extent. I mean, it's with this grand cross going on now. I think everyone is feeling uh, the intensity, and yeah. it's building, and it's uh, and there's different coping mechanisms that we all have, and I think that you know one of the you know, one of the major uh, coping mechanisms that, you know, men have is work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and yeah. it's just like, uh, I, you know, I'm I'm afraid, I'm insecure, I'm, I, I'm, you know, I don't know what's up and what's down and where I'm going or where, uh, you know, what this is all about. Um, give me something to do. Keep me busy. Uh, give, uh, taking refuge in money taking yeah. uh i you know i want some security well let's just you know go to work and make more money and forget about all the you know uh you know the, all this consciousness stuff um uh it, it's 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 really fear based reactions i think that are going yeah. on whereas yeah. the women i think are more like listening which is a feminine quality <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it's receiving, it's receptive, it's feminine is to listen. And, and, and so women listen to this and, 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 you know, what's coming up and it's like, well, there's a message here we need to learn here, or there's, you know, there's a, there, if, if, if we go inward and, you know, into it and evolve, we're going to, you know, develop new capacities for coping and, and, you know, yeah, transform our lives. So I think there's just a little, just besides the other fact is that w women are more comfortable with chaos. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that might be that 6,500 years of whatever, getting used to it, I reckon. I mean, also with I found here, and also bringing the the twin flame element into it, which is which is kind of part of my experience and just part of my work, is that there I've also been very much aware, as in, in this build up over here, but also um, internationally, that there seems to be this absolute um, obsession for um, someone outside of 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 your own being, of yourself, to to um, fix the stuff that's going on and I noticed that very very much in this almost like this obsession in the twin flame arena where everybody is looking for a twin flame or wants a twin flame or wants wants these kind of contacts because they think then it's going to make everything better and make everything go away and make everything right and that's been a that's real been a real what we call you know what I would say a real eye opener um again it's uh in a way, it's kind of not a kind of it's going to be part of the process, and that seems to be. I would say, you know, that's building up to a frenzy. I'm seeing that, and again, I don't know if you're encountering that. I know in a lot of your work, you know, when we see your Pele reports, that you refer very much, you know, you you talk in those terms of you know the inner completion and the inner merging, and uh, you know, I mean, my feeling is that you know we're we're all getting uh, stirred up. And and I think that this shift is it's like this longing for love, this longing for uh, for serenity, for peace, for, uh, you know, uh, for self acceptance, as well as just like, you know, could everything just please like settle down? It's like we're, you know, in a hurricane or a tornado. And it's like, when is this going to you know, yeah. so, I, you know, there is this reaching out and everybody is, is reaching out in, in different ways. And I, I do experience, you know, what you're saying that, yes, there is this, you know, the twin flames and the soul mates and people are really, you know, wanting. And, 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 and I think it's also a, maybe it's a, it's this good evolutionary you know, step or stage where we are seeing more and more with this age of Aquarius and community, how we are completions of each other, reflections for each other, mirrors for each other, that we, we don't really find ourself or our truth in a vacuum. You know, in the age of Pisces, yeah. you would go off to the monastery or the mountaintop or the ashram and meditate and, you know, um, that was the path towards uh, spiritual awakening. And I think that this is a, another part of the shift that we are social beings. We are, you know, we use each other as mirrors to see our our unconscious, our shadow. So... This one side of it, I think, is is good, um, but that brings me an to idea. another point. Yeah, yeah, go on. So um, Pluto's going into Capricorn, or it's been in Capricorn for a while now, and I really haven't paid attention to Pluto until just this Uranus Pluto stuff happening, and then I'm like, hey, he used to be the god of wealth, and <laughs> so it seemed like that Pluto was talking to sort of the structure, monetary structure, but. Um, I guess I'm wondering if Pluto also has something to do with love because we, I think as male and females, we are wanting something different in the structure and all this sort of arguments and political arguments over who can get married. It's like, what's the point of getting married again? I mean, what, what does it do? What is it doing for us in 2014? I mean, maybe in uh, 1560, I needed a cow and a house and maybe a farm. And so, <laughs> you know, maybe that was going to benefit me in some way or whatever. Um, there was something else going on there. But now in 2014, what are we doing and what are we saying mm -hmm. with that piece of paper or just in any kind of ceremony? What are we doing? So there's something, I think, about that Capricorn restructuring thing. And then uh, Neptune is in Pisces for a long time, right? right. A long time. Well, and it seems like that has a lot to do with love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and what, also what you were saying there, I mean, I resonate strongly with because having come through the the, the physical three years experience I've come through on, with the twin flame union sort of on the battlefield, so to speak, on the ground um, and and 
certainly been a huge advocate for this the, this new the new template this new template of the of divine connections divine partnerships coming in um it's almost like nothing less will is is enough really than than what we would call a co- the complementary um connection where you're both on a level playing field, you know, where the masculine and the feminine are matching. And almost that that does mirror what's going on with inside. It's that balance again, isn't it? It's that masculine and feminine within, but that masculine and feminine balance maybe without as well, you know, on the outside as well. I think the expectations are different. I mean, again, I don't know how you feel about that, um, Tom, you know, and again, if you've encountered that. And I don't know, I don't know on your take on that. I mean, for you, from you as a guy, as a as an intensely amazing spiritual teacher, and you know that's a wonderful guy coming from the heart. You know, uh, on a personal level, for you, I mean, any any woman that came into your life now, I would I would say kind of almost like reading your energy that it would have to be someone that's on on pretty much an even par with you because that's you don't seem to need absolutely jack outside of you to complete you 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 don't need it (laughs) so would that would that be would that be correct (laughs) i must be doing good videos (laughs) (laughs) yeah you're doing you're doing real good yeah you are (laughs) well i I guess i have to let the cat out of the bag this is this is interesting you guys i'm getting married Okay, come on then. Fess up, fess up. Yeah, uh, th- uh, this uh, this July. Yay! Uh, I, yeah, I came to Costa Rica and I fell in love with uh, uh-huh. with Laura uh, about a year ago, and um, yeah, so I've moved here and we're you know uh, building a house together and we're getting married, and so. These, you know, you bringing all this stuff up. It's, you know, guys are like, uh, 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 well, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's great, man. You know, um, yeah. So, so. so this this beautiful connection you have with her. I mean, I don't even feel I need to ask you. You you must have this. I mean, you've got this complimentary thing going, yeah. This complimentary oneness, kind of everything that you embody. Yeah. I, I feel is embodied within her too. I mean, that's how you come together like this. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's uh, it's amazing. Um, oh, this uh, is absolutely. this is beautiful. Yeah, tell us more. Tell us more without going into <laughs> detail. The world is the world is really happy for Tom Lesher. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> so, Tom, if you're going to give the world hope. <laughs> <laughs> for finding that thing that they're looking for in a relationship, what would you say? That's a big question. Well, um, I got to say, it's pretty much, uh, you, not that I had given up or anything, <laughs> you know, on it, um, but that I uh, was was really in a space of, that I need to complete myself within myself and I'm, and uh, my, you know, I had another previous relationship that fell apart and I was kind of disillusioned with love and was really focusing on my yoga and my meditation and my spiritual path and, um, you know, a contribution to planet earth and humanity. And, you know, just that I really, um, needed to come into you know the sacred marriage the the wholeness within and it was you know and and then it just happens right i mean then it's like i mean i was just in a place of i am surrendering to life i am listening to life and being guided by spirit and um what comes to me is is perfect for me at the at the time that it, you know it comes to me and i'm going to just really be in this place you know at this time and listen and and surrender and so it was really kind of when i absolutely let go of you know it was not an ego search or a um you know like a a seeking and a grasping and a you know it, it was it was somewhat of the opposite that then it kind of magically uh, you know came to me and uh, and appeared in in my life you know what i'm saying 
so so happy for you because um, I'm zinging my hairs on end because this is just beautiful because you you're the living embodiment the living embodiment of what we're going around talking about it's it's now happened for you and it couldn't happen for a nicer guy i mean and this i'm overjoyed that you've 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 so told us that here and now as well because you know we've been talking about this for a long time and kind of try uh-huh. and live in it as well so for it to be for you i uh, just think is just that's just wonderful. I've made my day. I've made oh. my day. <laughs> so happy. Oh my goodness. You're <laughs> making me get all gushy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just wonderful. I mean, with all these things, you know, we never know. We just we just come so much from just seeing what unfolds on air. And so... So I come back to this marriage, you know, uh, thing and this piece of paper, and it it, it is two different things. I, I I feel there is a spiritual union, yeah, you know, that can be followed by you know a piece of paper, um, but it's the, it's not the essential. I mean, it, it may be an outward manifestation of an inward. Um, surrender. I mean, to me, it's just like, I want to totally give myself to this woman and yeah. she wants to totally give herself to me. And it's, it's just this act of love, this act of, of, of surrender and sharing and union that, you know, it just naturally uh, wants to, you know, occur for me. I don't know. Some of it, I, I, I don't want to, you know, um, well, there's two things. One is commitment. You know, um, Mm -hmm. uh, Saturn is in Scorpio, Pluto is in Capricorn, and we're talking about laws and structures and this, that, and the other thing. But, you know, uh, one thing that I have to say is, um, you know, for residency purposes, (laughs) (laughs) I am moving to Costa Rica, right? And, and, um, you know, I'm moving out of the United States. I don't want to support the United States. I don't want to pay taxes in the United States. I don't want to, you know, uh, have much to do with the war machine up there anymore. And, you know, I'm I'm here in in a peaceful place and I want to become a resident. And it's just, you know it's it's uh it's very um easy you know and mm-hmm. uh and 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 natural right that you know as i come here and unite with her that um you know i get this piece of paper that says you know i'm i'm now a a, a resident of another country and i can open a bank account and i can you know do things down here that you know i can't really do you know so much the other way so i you know so let's say that that's not the case for people and they actually find their twin flame you know <laughs> their soulmate yeah, in the same country <laughs> yeah um you know yeah. i think there can i i have i have always seen marriage as much more of a social uh it's it's a social uh recognition yeah it, it's it's not between it's it's not so much about the people it's about the families and about society and you know it is it's about taxes you know and uh, you know the living together and da, da 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 this that and the other thing it's a it's a it's for the uh society more than you know well and also the you know for for kids yeah you know, when it comes to children, I think another part of uh, you know, another part of marriage, you know, is, uh, you know, like I say, for the social thing and for children. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I say this is I'm just still grinning ear to ear now because, you you know, it is absolutely perfect that you've come on here today and, and, and actually said this and shared this with us today, which is a wonderful thing for you to do because and, and also the way you talk about creation, because very much in the in the soul of all of us at the moment, creation, isn't it? It's coming to the fore and I know it does the twin flames and, you know, and in these comp- complementary oneness like this, these, these, these divine partnerships, these these connections when you come into co- completion and then have these connections divine connections whatever you want to call them we maybe don't have a name for them yet but whatever they get called in future years then they are, you know they're such a such a wonderful thing for yourselves but it's such a wonderful thing for everybody around you that vibration you're putting out and that you know that co-creative thing that you're putting out there um it's just wonderful and it's uh 
you know it's it's just wonderful to to see that you personally have like stepped into that now and all the joy that that's going to bring you guys but also the joy and the the enhancement that's going to bring to your work to her work and the two of you together is just it's just wonderful to sit in action divine timing isn't it perfection I, I mean i i really do see my work as moving i mean i'm you know of course uh astrology is my passion but i also see the need and the um uh just a, a moving more towards working with the masculine and the feminine, working more yeah. with relationships, working, working more with this, you know, unfolding of a new paradigm, which is a redefinition of marriage, of relationship, of man and women. Um, and, and yeah, like, uh, you know, what you're saying, it's, it's like, I think uh, so many relationships are falling apart and marriages are falling apart now because of what they're founded upon mm-hmm. and, yeah. and what they, what started them in the first place and what, you know, what was the, you know, was it true? Was it, uh, you know, was it the ultimate? Was it what, you know, it's, it's like, was it out of security or out of fear or out of, you know, family conditioning or uh, there's just so many false uh, paths or or yeah. reasons or, or, you know, justifications. So it's it's like, what is the foundation for the relationship? And Saturn moving through Scorpio here. Yeah. You know. And, and you know, it's going to stay there until December 24th, actually, Christmas, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, still have, you know, Saturn and Scorpio. It, it, it is challenging and, you know, it's it is both separation and commitment. It's, you know, you know, Saturn moving through Scorpio is saying, you know what, if this is not true, if this is not your, you know, deepest you know, uh, uh, transformative evolutionary path, then it, you know, it's, 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 it flunks, you know, it, it, it breaks. It's time to let it go. It's time to get true, get deep and transform yourself and evolve. And if you're not evolving in this relationship, get out of it. Or it will, you know, it will go away because the, 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 the evolutionary push is, is getting, you know, the pedal to the metal these days. So yeah. there are a lot of breakups and there's also reformations. Saturn is also having to do with contracts, commitments uh, that are really um, around, yeah, this um, integrity and yeah. uh and and a, a material third dimensional manifestation of my um greatest uh you know authority my 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 greatest self in this world and so there is the the potential and the possibility at this time and i've you know i know some others that are also you know really basing their commitments basing their relationship finding you know the uh uh you know a partnership that is really um phenomenal uh, you know yeah. t- mm-hmm. that it's that is. new paradigm isn't it you're seeing it's so heartening to hear you talk about this to hear a guy talk about this and to be experiencing it personally you but also you know of others that are experiencing it is just absolutely wonderful it's wonderful to see this being embodied i can't i can't thank you enough for for sharing this with us today it's just been a great amazing yeah this has been great i mean i think broadcast goes all over the world and for other folks that are in phenomenal relationships they get to be at ease and they don't have to hide because you know there's lots of other people that are experiencing this i think in the past, uh, people in phenomenal relationships like this where they're sharing of themselves and they want to and that's their what they're striving for, I guess, it, you know, that's maybe been hidden. Yeah. But now, mm. now it's sort of, you can't hide it anymore. 
I mean, when human beings are pretty much glowing like light bulbs all the time now, it's pretty. It's really <laughs> hard to hide. <laughs> yeah. And then when hard. two of them get together, it's even brighter. So it's like you can't, you know. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful connections do partnerships. It, it it's just wonderful for everyone. That just resonates out to everyone, and that's just like you know. Watch out, world, for Tom Lesher. <laughs> Basically, watch out. Oh, God, you are so funny. I look forward to seeing you. You know, I, I'm coming over to you, uh, you know, this uh, in October. So where, where are you going to be coming over in the UK? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to do uh, a, a workshop in London and a workshop in Lewis. Down near on the coast there. So, right, I'll meet you in London or Lewis. You name the place, uh, mate. I, we'll, we'll go for it. <laughs> how wonderful. We'd, I'd love to meet you. I can't, I've come so close a couple of times here dancing around this. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it will. I'm uh, absolutely sure it will. So that would be fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Thanks. I tell you what, I would just laugh the whole time. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 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 Two Leos. Oh, it would be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, let us know your website again. And you have workshops coming up, too. Oh, boy, yeah. It's uh, newparadigmastrology.com. And, uh, boy, workshops. I've got, uh, I'm going to be in Florida and swimming with dolphins in the Bahamas in June. And I'm going to be doing a week long retreat here in Costa Rica. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at August of putting this together for, and it's going to be about Mars and Venus, the masculine and feminine and, and sacred relationship is really the, the focus, like I say, that I'm moving into, um, and uh, awesome. yeah, besides that, I'm just uh, I, I have a, a community now um, that people who want to learn astrology can uh, join my monthly uh, thing and get extra long Pele reports. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Visiting astrologers and they get my webinars and a question and answer thing and there's all kinds of perks and stuff. And Lindy, what's your website? LindyCowling.co.uk and there are links on there to so the sort of various radio shows that I do and also I, you know, started to stand in my power in a different way and went out on YouTube for the first time a month ago. They've gone pretty crazy on me. So I'm out on YouTube now and um, doing all sorts of stuff, all different elements of my work. But if I had to boil it down, I'm, I'm basically, you know, about the new paradigm and about love and helping people to come into that space really come into their heart and um, to come from there so I also do workshops I'm over in Italy at some point this year you know to do heart awakening I'm also out on platform and doing channeling and inspirational talking and all sorts of things so there's lots and lots happening connecting up with people all the time so I just want to thank you so much um, again Christina for sort of making it possible and so much for at last such a base with with Tom after so long. It's just absolute joy. Thank you, really, both of you so much. It's just been a blast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. You both are so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grinning from ear to ear myself. <laughs>